Well, hello people, and this video has no Peroni in it. Oh, what a shame. Now, I'm not a game reviewer because, well, I hardly ever buy any games anymore anyway. Because most of the games aren't games anymore, they're just storefronts for the companies. And most gamers are being milked, and they don't even know it. Anyway, I kind of had a moment. You know, at my age, you have them sometimes. And I bought 2K23 PGA Tour. I think I got it for about £10. And I hadn't played a golf game for a very, very long time. And funny enough, a friend came round and we kind of both started playing it together. And it didn't take very long before we actually were on the course. And it was very easy to learn how to hit the ball and how to put backspin on it and all that sort of thing. So, of course, as friends do, we put money on it. I mean, not much, just a grand or so. And we had quite a lot of fun. And we played quite a number of times every time he came round. And then I started seeing that EA had a PGA Golf one as well. And I remember way back when and EA was good in sports like NHL, FIFA. So I decided the other day to buy EA Masters PGA Tour 2023, I think. But I weren't paying no £59 like they're asking for it. I think I paid something about £20 for it. Because, you see, I'm an old guy. I ain't paying no £59 for a game. So I kind of loaded up the EA golf game. Of course, you need Origin to play it. I kind of forgot about EA and that. Anyway, I did have an Origin account many years ago, but I couldn't remember it. And, well, there was loads of hoops I had to jump through and everything else took, took some time. I finally got in. But think about it, if I hadn't, I'd paid for the game and everything, but still couldn't play it. That's how silly it is. And it kind of reminded me what the way EA had gone. And how I stopped supporting them. Anyway, finally got the game open. And you can actually change your golfer and everything else into all different types. But if you're playing a sort of a local game, you can make a player up. The other person can make a player up. But you can't actually play with each other. Pardon the expression. Anyway, I guess it was about half an hour and I hadn't still hit a ball on the green. And then comes to EA sort of mechanics. Oh yeah, they've made it complicated, of course. And this is the kicker here. Now, I remember playing games way back when. And they always had control support and keyboard and mouse support. But not this game. This game EA has doesn't have mouse support. So if you don't have a controller... You have to use the keyboard. And it's all button pushing. It's almost like the film Airplane, the first one. Of course, it's going to have keyboard and mouse support. No, it's not going to have mouse support. They'll be expecting that. It's almost as if EA goes out of its way to piss gamers off. Now, in 2K23, there is mouse support, and it's very easy. Why would EA make the game without mouse support? Well... Because they don't give a care. Anyway, the bottom line is this, for me anyway. The graphics are slightly better in EA. The commentators are better in EA. But for me, the playability stinks. It's too complicated. It's too big of a learning curve. People say, oh, well, it's more realistic for the sort of golfer who wants to go into play the masses and play all these things on their own. I don't want to play on my own. I want to play with friends. That's the whole idea. But you see, with EA, before you play, you'd have to give them a whole book of instructions and give them a week to study it. Now, I had some controllers for my PC a couple of years ago and I just threw them out because I never used them. But I bought a controller and it's on its way to be able to play EA better. It might be easier. Well, for me, EA is asking top dollar for their games, and that was okay when they had good games years ago. But unfortunately, they've lost it a long time ago, I'm afraid. One guy who's playing EA kind of said, well, he bought this club. Oh yeah, you can buy stuff. But he doesn't understand, he paid top dollar for the game, and he's still paying. They're milking him to death. So you pay £59 for a game that doesn't have mouse support. And considering the amount of people complaining about that, EA could make a patch to fix that. But they probably won't. So if I want to be able to just play golf nice and quickly and get it all set up, then get the 2K23. Do you remember EA? EA Sports. It's in the game. Not anymore, it isn't. 
And there'll be lots of people out there saying, oh, well, no, EA sort of PGA is the best and all that. Well, that's up to them. My pretty old guy, I've been playing EA games for many years, a lot longer than they probably have. And I'm afraid EA has lost its magic. Because the one thing EA has lost, they've taken the fun out of their games. When I tried to play EA PGA Masters, it was a slog fest. Now, of course, if I'd have known it didn't have mouse or sort of support, I wouldn't have bought EA at all. But that shows you how EA has gone. How can you make a game for PC that doesn't have mouse support? Now my friend's coming around the next couple of days, and I'll have a controller. But it's still going to take all that time just to teach them how to play the game. So we probably won't get a game in for at least the second time they come round, and maybe even the third. Because we play for very serious money. Sometimes it's 50p a hole. Yeah, that's right. Multiply that times 18. And what will happen is we'll probably just go actually to 2k23. Well, I know it's probably money down the drain for paying for EA sort of golf. And people say, well, I'll just play it anyway. No, I only play a game or a video game if it's fun. You know, many years ago, that's why people played video games. It was fun and entertaining. If I want stress, I'll go to work. Anyway, you guys out there, sort of let me know how you think about it. If you've got EA sort of golf or the 2K and let me know what you think. Oh yeah, and you don't need another application when you're playing 2K23. And it's got mouse support. Oh, did I mention that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Anyway, take it easy, fellas. Hey, it's in the game. No, it isn't. I checked it's not in the game. After I tried to play it, it's not in the game.